Hi guys, I'm Martikor and today we are looking for a girlfriend for Othin. I know neither of them is Othin, but Othin is asleep, so... So I mentioned a double wedding last time at the end of the previous episode and yeah, I am pretty sure we will have one because uh, the point when anyone will be able to get married will be when I move out the four, four people that I'm supposed to move out in a while. Uh, so yeah, I think that's very possible. But first things first, we need a girl. Also, Addison and Endler will become elders in two days, and Gallagher too. Those three will be elders already in this episode. Oh, Othin is going to work. So, uh, when he's back, I will send him to a community lot. Oh man, uh, this again. Because I had a chance card last time, right? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Maybe hold shares. Uh, Rio breathes a sigh of relief and sells his shares for 7,000 simoleons profit. <laughs> really? <laughs> Even more money, yes, please! Jeff needs charisma. That's important. <laughs> okay, she is going to work for the next three days. Today, tomorrow and the day after. Um, and she needs to get promoted. She just needs to get promoted, please. <laughs> Uh, let the 75% chance of getting promoted work, because then she has four days off. Okay, level five. That was fast. Now he needs some skills and we can actually uh, maybe not do them immediately. He needs to find a date. Uh, so the, f the fairy... F fairy tale? What? No, the... Fortune teller, fairy tale, that's a completely different word. <laughs> Never mind. Um, the fortune teller didn't really do a good job on um, bringing us the date, especially that I need to look at the face. So it's probably not the best idea to use the fortune teller because she won't give us a person with the proper face, you know? Um, so let's just go to a community lot and try to find someone. Good, I have a mod that makes a lot of people show up. There aren't really that many places. I guess, again, you will have to go to the park. I'm not sure if that was Othan who went to the park. Uh, yeah, as a teenager, I think. Well, now it's a completely different reality. And he's wearing his uniform, so maybe he will, you know, bring some attention to him. Yeah, there are definitely a lot of people here, um, and some women, so let's go. Let's maybe scope a little bit. Who do you like? Lily Do. Oh, I fixed the hair! It turned out that... Uh, yeah, she's back. Um, it turned out that I downloaded this hair like the Max's version of this hair, of course, for toddlers, and it came with a hider for, you know, like, recolors of this hair. So that broke my replacements of this hair because I have a different replacement for every color, so they got glitched out and I took them out for a while, but now I know what the problem was, so it's fixed. I have them back. Lily, huh? Damn it. I mean... <laughs> I'm using Lily in my River Blossom Hills on, on my Polish channel, so I feel like that would be very repetitive. Oh, I couldn't check their chemistry because he was still a teenager. Okay, let's check. Let's just check. Because I was saying that he probably will have a good chemistry with her. Because she has brown hair, that was pretty much the only uh, reason for me, uh, because that's his turn on. So actually, uh, the glowing ladies, two of them had uh, brown hair here, so... Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, two bolts. Lily Do is just hot, okay? Oh man, no, you're, you're, you're not going to pass with this face, I'm sorry. <laughs> Max's faces, am I right? Still not going to replace them, though. No one even generates in my game anymore, so it wouldn't even do anything. Um, okay, so maybe I will actually go for Lily Do. I think he also liked Melissa. I think she was glowing too. Let's let's check. Oh no, it's actually negative. Okay. Oh, she she's already hugging him. 
my god, I love Lily Do. She is like one of my absolute favorite uh, townies in The Sims 2. But man, do I really have to use her in every single of my games? <laughs> I mean, that would be the second time in my life, probably, but it's so weird, you know, to have Lily do in two gameplays, like, mm, there are probably a lot of different people. Not make selectable, Jesus Christ, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> but okay, I will have Lily in mind in case absolutely no one, uh, you know, thrills him enough. Let's check this lady too, and let's go somewhere else. Um, she was glowing and you have negative chemistry? That's so weird. But that's good because I wasn't going to use her anyway. Oh yeah, the the repo man is fantastic. I hope that different people will show up on the next community lot. If I get a knowledge sim as heir in this gameplay, isn't Rio a knowledge sim? Probably, but he's most likely not going to be the heir. Um, it's already been decided. But anyway, if I if in next generations I get a knowledge sim, I will consider having an alien child because I love aliens. There aren't really that many different people. Uh, maybe you could check the chemistry with this bitch. Everyone knows what she did. One bolt. Not bad, but it could be better. What about the pizza lady? I think she's pretty. No, don't go. <laughs> don't go. Meet me in the afterglow. Okay, Taylor for today, done. Tell me that you're still mine. Tell me that I'll be just fine. Even when I lose my mind. Oh, too bad you have negative chemistry with another Mary Lena Hamilton. <laughs> that would be hilarious if he married another Mary Lena Hamilton. Let's go to the wild beach at night and see who's there. Who is brave enough? I mean, people drown there. She is everywhere. Oh, okay, he has one bolt with brandy letter no. That's how you should pronounce her name, right? Which isn't really that bad. But I am not so sure about her face. It's... it's okay, I guess. Especially for a woman. I mean, like, if Othan has a daughter. It's kind of annoying now that I have the same townies as in Pleasant View and every other town. Now I, I have clean stealth hoods so they wouldn't spawn in, in a new neighborhood. But <laughs> do you see that? He doesn't like anyone. It's like, <laughs> he only likes Lily Do. And Brandy a little bit. And one bolt with this great lady. Now I kind of wish that I had uh, people generated that, you know, there aren't really the same people as I see everywhere. <laughs> Maybe this should be a sign that he's gay. <laughs> Making a gay heir is kind of problematic in, um, like, to me, because technically it's not against the rules or whatever um, to, you know, adopt a child. But what I like to see in a legacy challenge is genetics right? Which trait of the heir still stays in the last generation? And adopting a child kind of breaks the line, you know, of uh, of genes uh, in, in the legacy challenge, so I never really consider that. If it's an alien baby, sure, then I can easily have a gay couple, it doesn't make a difference. But if I want a continuation of genes in the, in the heritage, then, well, I am not going to make a biological baby for two men or two women. It's just, you know, it's not possible, so I, I'm not going to uh, go through, like, a fantasy biology thing. <laughs> So if he doesn't find anyone tomorrow, I will try to decide between, I guess, Brandy and Lily. But uh, I am still very skeptical of bringing Lily into this house because, as I said, it, it will be a copy of Lily from my other gameplay. I think Brandy would actually fit in here very well. That would be pretty interesting. But l let's keep looking. Oh, finally! Yes! Thank you! The first time! <laughs> she she could even take a day off tomorrow, and the day after, and whatever. 
Okay. Now only Jeff gets a promotion in three days. <laughs> Two days, I guess. And I can finally move out four people from this house. You know what, Rio? You've waited enough. And you broke the computer, so... It's not like you won't be able to look for, for a job because we have not only another computer, but also the newspaper. But I think it's a sign that I should assign a new job for you. Journalism. He's been looking for this job for like nine days, I think. So it's probably time for me to <laughs> just cheat because it's not there. Hello? No vice president for you. Oh yeah, he's lecturing you because you broke the computer. Level 2, blog writer. Okay, I'll take it. Yep. Thank you very much. I need to make Endler a bit more happy uh, because he's not the best. If his predestined hobby is science and he also wants to be a journalist, does that mean that he will write scientific articles? That sounds cool. Okay, it's spring, so let's go to the beach. Maybe let's not go to the same places all the time. I've already made up my mind that if there's no one else that Othan likes this, it will actually be Brandy. And she's here, so yeah, we can just use that. Oh, okay, she's going home. Can you try to talk to her for a bit at least? No. Yeah, he keeps saying that they're hot, but no, he doesn't have any chemistry with them. I guess he has the most points uh, of chemistry with them, but that's that, that doesn't mean that there's any chemistry here. Gretchen Chin just came, but she has the same face as Othan, right? Yeah, I mean, Othan has different eye shape, but still, that would be kind of like twins. You have found a shell necklace. That's cool. Negative chemistry again. <laughs> really? I guess brandy it is then. I should probably take out no towny region for a while for this gameplay, but it's... <laughs> oh, hi Lily. But it's kind of dangerous, let's say, because I really need this mod in my Planet Alades. Um, gameplay. So I will try to remember to put it back in my game before recording Planet Alades, but that will have to be probably for the next generation, really. In this generation, I will uh, just choose between the people that I already have. Oh, okay, you have chemistry with her, but she definitely has a broken face template. This is exactly the... yeah, I, I think so. So we, we would have elf children, unless, of course, I fix it, because it actually turns out that fixing the broken face templates doesn't affect sims that al already exist in the game, but does affect their children. At least that's what I've heard. That's what one of my viewers said after she tested it. So uh, that sounds cool. I, I will try to remember one day to install the fixes. But I do think I will go for Brandy. Even though she's like fifth in the rank, I always wanted to bring her to my gameplay. I don't know, I just like her. I, and she never married any of my sims, so uh, that's probably a good time to change that. I am not looking for anyone else. Unless I do one more thing. And, oh, hi, Mary. I like her face, but it's probably not going to mix very well. That's the 12th tem template, I think, and uh, it's one of my favorite ones. But it's probably going to get bad uh, mixing with Othan's face. Um, yeah, let's try to spawn some sims. Townies. Maybe there is a name that I don't know. Actually, I know all of them. Candice Wren is the... Redhead that keeps calling, right? Autumn Wilsonoff? Who are you? Oh, that's the first face lady from university. They are actually amongst townies. That's kind of problematic, but... <laughs> okay, let's continue. Catherine Todd? I th isn't that the girl that uh, Endler was with at the university? Yeah, that's her. 
damn, my memory is good. <laughs> like, for, for stuff like that, for just names or numbers, random shit, uh, but not for things that actually matter. Yeah, all of them are very familiar. What about NPCs? Because, you know, there are people from, like, uh, Garden Club or something, like Tosha Ren. Who are you? Mona Knot. Oh, she has um, Marissa's face. Oh, Jesus. That would be really bad. <laughs> River Strait. Is it even safe to bring this person here? Because this name sounds fake. River Strait. Oh. Oh, that's the hotel guy. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh, here's Garden Club. That's a separate section of this. Yeah, I know all, the, all those people and most of them are men. Okay, there are also these. Punking? Huh. Probably some weird people from university. But Mary Lena Hamilton... Oh, okay, there's the third Mary Lena Hamilton that's in the vacation destination. But do I even have a vacation destination here? I don't think so. Why do these people even exist? That's so weird. Oh, there's also this. What about Michelle? She's kind of cool. Oh, hobby leaders are here. Okay. Kaylin Spitzig, I need you. You're so pretty. Second face template, but you know. Still pretty. Okay, I have all these people. They're all going inside, probably to play the piano. Cameron is hot. What do you know? She really isn't bad when it comes to face. Oh, two bolts. She is third place when it comes to chemistry. Okay, that's a lot better. I think I could go for her. Sorry, Brandy. Next time, maybe. What about Kaylin? I already see that there's no bolt in the interactions, so probably not much. And Michelle has the same face as her, I think. I think that's the same template. Yeah. Okay, he doesn't like Kaylin. Oh, it's time for the... yeah, for them to grow up, but... Okay, Addison is coming back from work, but those are still at work. Doesn't like her either. Oh my god, you are so picky, Othan. What the hell is your problem? Okay, but... Uh, Cameron? Cameron Lee? I think that's our choice, finally. Oh, I see that Rio got promoted to level 3. Okay, so Addison is old, but gold. She could actually retire. I guess I will make her retire on Saturday. When she finishes work tomorrow, then she has three days off in a row. Uh, she also has three, three vacation days to use, but I don't think I will use them. Maybe for tomorrow or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like when you work at intelligence, you probably can retire pretty early, right? It's kind of like law enforcement, so it's, yeah, it makes sense. Oh, you're pretty. Very pretty with those cheekbones. <laughs> Wait, I need to take a closer look at you. Do you have Carvos's face shape? If you're... Yeah, I think so, because Carvos has the same face shape as... Daniel Pleasant, of course, because that's his father, like, genetically. And Daniel's face shape is actually from the second face template. So the second face template looks exactly like this when it comes to cheekbones and stuff when uh, a woman gets older. Uh, I don't think Marissa had these cheekbones, so I am pretty sure that this is Carvos's face shape. So she didn't get the whole face after Marissa. That's good to know. I think you will stay gray. Endler is still not very happy. So I am afraid that he won't really live very long. Unlike Addison, who, who will live the longest. And he is so close to fulfilling his lifetime want. Oh man. I think Mary could use this uh, necklace that Othan found. He could just, you know, give it to his mom as a gift. It's spring, so maybe it's for Mother's Day, you know? 
Well, every country has a different Mother's Day because in the US, I think it's somewhere in March, but in Poland, it's actually on the 26th of May. So still in spring, but, you know, the American Mother's Day is in early spring and the the Polish one is in, like, fall bloom spring. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I think she could wear it because uh, her outfit kind of feels empty at cleavage, you know? So, uh, yeah, I think she's the perfect person to wear it. Oh, she's disgusted by all the sand that is in this necklace. Sand and dirt and seawater. Oh no. I can age a young adult immediately into an elder? That doesn't seem fair. But I guess I should when it comes to those two because those are friends from college. I guess I will actually do that. Why not? They're perfect. He still has the half blonde hair. <laughs> That's not happening. You're going full gray. Gallagher. He's also not very happy. But he's still happier than he was a while back. Okay, we're not aging anyone with you. Where are you looking? You're not looking at me. You're looking in the sky? At the sky? I don't know. They should woohoo sometimes. Sometimes I make them woohoo and then just cut it out because it's not really that, that important. So don't worry, they're woohooing, okay? I think she will take the day off uh, because she went to sleep very late. Uh, Gallagher? Oh, okay. Wait, you're wearing this suit as your casual clothing? Oh, I also need to get rid of this. I need to buy you clothes. I like Addison's gown. I think it's perfect for her. What? Are you kidding me? How did I not know that you can do this? Two people can warm up on this thing. The things you don't know about The Sims 2, right? This makes them even more unstoppable when it comes to the obsession about the stick thing. Jeff. It would be really nice if you got promoted today. Remember that you don't need these friends that it shows you do. Remember about the mods. He has a similar situation to Addison from like two days ago, uh, that he has three days and it would be nice for him to get promoted within those three days. Then he has a day off and then he goes to work again, but like that would take a lot of time. Othan already made 5,000 simoleons. Okay. So now you need to call Cameron, but your social is full, so you won't really improve the relationship that much. Okay, so first maybe take care of your other needs. She came here out of nowhere, and she's actually wearing pretty nice clothes. Very good fashion choice for The Sims 2. Okay, now you can call her, I guess. Okay, Rio is trying to make amends and just talk to Joe normally. <laughs> And it seems to be working. Yes! God, thank you! Finally! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm just as happy as Jeff is now, and Addison. So this means I can move them out. I think I will uh, find own a place now in this episode, but I will, uh, you know, build them a house and everything. Uh, in between and in the next episode, starting next episode, we will only have four people in this active family. And I can finally focus on the actual heir, that is Endler, and his lifetime want. He's pretty close. I think I will move them out tomorrow in the morning. It doesn't really make much sense to move out people at 11 p.m. And I think in the next episode I might change Othin's hair, but I can't promise anything. 18 and 5. It's improving. I think in the next episode we will be able to invite her over, so from that point it just... it, it gets pretty simple. I think every single toilet in this house is clogged. I will just replace them, probably. So especially the career rewards I need to keep for... Addison, you were supposed to go to the bathroom before... Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, Gallagher, can you get up? Can you guys woohoo so that she can go to sleep? 
yeah, the career rewards need to go along with them. So the guitar is Jeff's. This is from... Oh man, I can't remember. Is this Gallagher's? This is Gallagher's. So this goes to... So I, I will already do this before I forget. And they will have all those things at their new house. What? What? Is this your painting from university? Oh man, uh, we could actually hang it somewhere. Maybe in the kitchen and frame it black. That's fine. Addison needs to retire before... Oh, she wants to... <laughs> she wants to earn 75,000. It will be Monday after she moves out, right? So I guess I could hold this idea just for a while. A short while. When was your last memory of making some money? 50,000? Not really that long ago. But she got a pretty big bonus uh, after that last promotion. So maybe she's actually pretty close to uh, earning this much money. And we have 100,000. So... I think I could actually give them most of this money uh, because I need more of a challenge, of course, in this, um, well, challenge, I guess. But also, it's actually their money, pretty much. I think I could keep, like, 10,000, maybe, maybe 15,000 or something like that. They will still take half the money when they move out, thanks to mods. Um, so they will take, uh, this This is half the household, so they will probably take like 53,000. So I will be able to immediately just buy them a pretty big house, like build it for them. But I will also send them even more money than that. Okay, any more career rewards? Oh, this is Endlers. Yeah, um, Joe doesn't have a career reward because he's a loser, so <laughs> he's a nobody. Okay, so if Addison is not retiring, then I guess Jeff will be the head of the operation uh, and he will find own place and just, just move out. Do you guys need anything from your room? I guess you could actually take the furniture, maybe without the computer, uh, but like the bed, like the plants, just so that at least I have an idea on how to furnish your new room in the new house. Addison could take this and this, I guess, again, so the oh, I can't do this, okay. Um, just so that I have an idea of what color the bedroom was or whatever. I don't know if I will actually use the same colors, but you know. Addison... Gallagher, Joe, and that's it. Oh man, I really like Jeff. <laughs> and he's gone. But I am so happy that he's a fulfilled man. And he will actually have his birthday into an elder at the new house already. But he will live really long because he fulfilled his lifetime want. Bye guys. I, I mean, you will probably live just here next door, but it's, it still feels kind of like a goodbye. They will visit us all the time. So it's not really that big of a deal, I guess. It shouldn't be, but it kind of feels like that. Oh man, four people, finally. <laughs> it's finally half empty. I am so happy. It's like, you know, bittersweet, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cousins, right? Okay, so that will be it for this episode, and now I see that Othan probably got the eyebrows after Carvos as well. That's good. I mean, those are not the prettiest eyebrows. They are very, like, up front. I don't know even how to express that, but... And it's funny how Othan looks really okay from the front, but whenever he turns his head, the beak comes out. But anyway, next time... I don't think the double wedding will actually be a thing now, now that I think about it, because Rio already has a developed relationship with Meadow, and they could get married any time, pretty much. And Othan still has a lot of work to do with Cameron. I say her name with high hopes that this is actually her name. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna go. As always, thank you very much for watching and subscribing and liking the video. And see you in the next one. Bye.